Hey there, welcome to the Yuxup channel and welcome to this tutorial video for the playlong videos of Sunroof as performed by Nikki Yor and Daisy. This was a hit song on TikTok and in social media uh, throughout 2022 and I actually made this playlong quite a long time ago but just didn't publish it and didn't record the tutorial that goes with it. So what we're going to do in this video is first of all we'll look at the chords you need for GCEA soprano concert or tenor ukulele. Then we'll take a look at the chords for DGBE baritone ukulele and then I'll just talk a little bit about strumming that you can do in the song. If you like the chords you could see here, you can find the chord chart or tabs at ukestuff.info, which is my blog. There's a page there for the chord chart slash tabs, and Sunroof will be there in alphabetical order. And also, if you want to help the channel out here, there are three things you can do. First of all, you can like the video. Second, you can subscribe to the channel. And third, you can always buy me a cup of coffee to say thank you for making this content at buymeacoffee.com slash ukestuff. All right, so let's begin with the chords need for sunroof on GCEA soprano concert or tenor ukulele. I'll be using this instrument today. This is my Blackbird Clara ukulele, just a wonderful, wonderful ukulele made out of e koa. Um, it's a fabric, a linen, that is then treated so it's a renewable resource, gorgeous sounding instrument. All right, the first chord is the C chord, then the G chord, then the D chord. Now, how, it's however you want to play D, I generally play D with my first finger at the top of the third string, second fret, and the other two fingers are on it, like an upside down V or a little tiny G7 in one fret. Some people will play three in a row, some people will use two fingers, some people will use one finger. Please, though, just don't use your thumb reaching across to play it. That's the one thing we ask you to do is don't reach across with your thumb. So that's the D chord. And you've got the E minor chord. And then, a chord that we don't see a whole lot, it's the D sharp diminished chord. How do you play that? It's like playing your D7, or what we call a Hawaiian D7, and then adding one finger underneath it. That's your D sharp diminished chord. And those are the chords you need to play sunroof in this key, key of uh, G, which is down a minor third from the original on soprano concert tenor GCA ukulele. Now let's talk about baritone ukulele. All right, for baritone, I'll be using this instrument. This is my mainland baritone. It has a cedar top and rosewood back and sides. Now for baritone, the first chord you're going to need is the C chord, then a G chord, then a D chord, then an E minor chord. And then finally, we're going to end with a tough chord, which is the D sharp diminished chord. Yeah, I said that right, D sharp diminished. What you're going to do is play your D chord, but then instead of playing it like your normal D chord, take your pinky and add it to the second string, fourth fret. But then do not play the fourth string, leave the fourth string out. And that's your D sharp diminished chord. So those are the five chords you need to play sunroof on baritone DGBE ukulele. Now let's talk about strumming. Now as it comes to strumming, I want to remind you that there was no ukulele used in the original version of the song, so there is not one single right answer. If you find anybody that tells you that there's only one right answer, they're wrong because there are many solutions. If you hear something different than what I suggest, these videos are only suggestions, then you go ahead and you play it. As long as what you play sounds good with the song, fits the style, and is in the tempo of the music, you're right. There is not one single right answer. These, again, are just suggestions. And really, I only hear one thing really going on. And I'm going to take the general sequence, which is C, G, D, E minor, that happens over and over and over again in the song. But um, so what I hear is down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck. But it's faster. One, two, three, four. Down and chuck, up, down and chuck, up, down and chuck, up, down and chuck, up, down and chuck. Now, if you've never chucked before, it's hitting all four strings and then stopping the sound with the palm of your hand. It's also called palm muting, sometimes called chunking. If you don't know how to do that yet, there are a million videos on YouTube that you can watch to learn how to do it. Um, there are some really excellent teachers out there that even will talk about different variations of that to get different sounds. I think it's enough just to get it, especially as you're strumming that fast, but it'd be something like this. So 
it's just down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up. And it's just fast. So again, slowly, down, up, chuck, up, 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 down, up, chuck. Just like that. Over and over and over again, just faster. That's it. All right, so with that strumming pattern and with those chords, that's all you need to do to be successful on sunroof. All right, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.